Welcome back to HodgePodge, another quick beginner's tutorial. Let's start with a new file. Go to the top menu and select Curve Line Line Segments. You may then draw out any shape you would like. Press Enter when finished with your drawing. Because we had selected line segments, we may delete each line individually. To delete more than one line at a time, simply click and hold to select within a box. When it is convenient, you could automatically close your drawing by selecting the Close option on the left. To draw what is known as a polyline, again go to the top menu and select Curve, then select Polyline and Polyline again. You may also close your polyline drawing automatically by going to the left. The nice thing about using the Polyline tool is that at any time if I mess up, I can undo by hitting my Command Z on my Mac, and the polyline will go back to the last point I placed. We may also draw a single line. To do so, go to the top menu and select Curve Line Single Line. After drawing this line, we will automatically exit the line mode. There will be no need to hit Enter or Escape. You may also draw a single line from its midpoint. We will again select Curve, Line, Single Line. This time, before drawing out your line, we will select both sides on the left, and we will draw out our line as so. So as you can see, there are many, many options that Rhino will provide you when drawing out lines. We did not even cover the tip of the iceberg in this tutorial. I could show you a lot more guys, but I am going by Rhino's Level 1 Training Manual. There will definitely be more to come later in this series. So if you don't want to miss what's coming up, hit that sub button. Thank you for watching. This has been a presentation of the third Rhino 3D exercise in the Level 1 Training Manual. Please click the following links to view the next and previous tutorials in this series. The next tutorial will combine Drawing Curves exercises 4, 5, and 6. The previous tutorial is named Display Options or Exercise 2.